Tricky baby. No matter the currency. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Zanti and welcome to Zanti Scenes. So Zone 14 was a TV drama series set in a typical township location and focused on the daily lives of two warring families, the Sibias and the Molois, and the Tiger Boys, a soccer team with high aspirations in the league. The show was different from the high-end soapies of middle-class bedrooms and boardrooms. It was rooted in real life and celebrated the lives of working-class South Africans. In this video, we take a look at some of the show's most popular characters and where the actors and actresses behind those roles ended up. At number one, we have Popeye and Spinach. Every time you think of them, you always get the image of them wearing black suits. Kirinyawo and Tulani Didi are well known for their captivating characters as Popeye and Spinach on Zone 14. They were everyone's favorite characters on the show and still go by Popeye and Spinach even today. Kiri was born to be an entertainer, he became popular way before he played Popeye and used to entertain people by speaking back English and they would pay him. Tulani had been involved in the arts since high school, composing songs for gospel artists. The two met in 1990, Kiri met Tulani while he was doing one of his short films and they have been working together ever since. The actors have taught and groomed many actors who are now well-known stars in the industry. The likes of Terry Pedro, Ronnie Nyakale and Zola have been groomed by the two. Babai described their friendship as more than friends but brothers. Spinach, who has been married for 11 years with seven children, says he is grateful to have Babai as his elder brother. Apart from acting, Babai holds a diploma in business studies and is also a writer and researcher for a Japanese news platform called Mainichi News and and is also into farming. On the other hand, Spinach is a part-time tutor at Bits University where he tutors upcoming actors. At number two, we have Connie Chiyume. Mom Connie needs no introduction, she is the embodiment of SA television. From awards to memorable TV characters, she's done it all. Connie played the feared and ruthless Stella Molloy on Zone 14. Her performance earned her a Golden Globe for Best Supporting Actress in a Drama at the Softers. The 69-year-old currently stars as Mam Sondo on Gamora and fans are loving her portrayal of the character. She's best known for her previous role as Mam Katie, an upstanding and more woman who is everyone's mother on Rhythm City. The shows she has starred in include Soul City, Mazinho.Q, Home Affairs and 90 Plain Street. She was also casted in Black Panther. Connie has also acted in numerous commercials and documentaries. Originally from Benoni, she currently resides in Johannesburg and has four children. At number three, we have Mpo Molebo. Mpo is an actor best known for his role as Fat on Rhythm City. He is the son of actor Arthur Molebo. Arthur was also on Rhythm City as the cricket local government official Sidney Shabalala. On Rhythm City, Mpo is a somewhat comic but streetwise character with a peaceful disposition. A far cry from Digger, the ruthless bagman and spoiled brat he portrayed on Zone 14. However, in real life, the mischievous but likeable Kilowatt Bogman is an artist of many talents. He is also a musician who sings and plays the guitar. Although Mulepo is remarkable for his artistic abilities on stage and screen, what is generally unknown about him is that he is also a cultural activist dedicated to documenting the country's rich heritage in performance spaces. At number 4, we have Patrick Mufugeng. Patrick is an actor popularly known for his role as King Sibiya on Zone 14. Currently, the 52-year-old plays the role of Man Lak Taylor on Ninga Shoni. Patrick's portrayal of King Sibiya in Zone 14 back in 2005 gained him a lot of traction. Aside from that, he appeared in Backstage, Yizo Yizo, Scandal and Isidingo. In 2020, he starred in the South African Netflix original series Blood and Water. At number 5, we have Nandi Nyembe. Nandi is an actress best known for her role as Nandi Sibiya on the soccer drama Zone 14. And with a television career that spans over 20 years, Yes, Mam Nandi still has a lot to offer and teach for all the aspiring actors out there. Besides the portrayal of Nandi Sibiya, she is known for playing Lily on Yizo Yizo and the leading character in Isozo Connection. She has acted in feature films including Reasonable Man, Saturday Night at the Palace and was a supporting actress in Yesterday. In 2007, she appeared in the drama series Jacob's Cross, playing the role of Tembe Makubu. Nandi also joined teen drama is Tunzi, where she played Nolwazi, Winnie's strict aunt. The actress has two children, but one passed away. At number six, we have Tembe Siede. Fans of quieter music will need no introduction to any of the members of Boom Shaka. 
Following the dissolution of the group after its lead singer Lebu Matosa decided to go solo, other members like Tebi Siyadu were able to establish themselves in careers outside of music. Being the risk taker that she is, Tebi was able to launch an acting career. In 2000, she made an appearance on Hijack Stories before taking up a role in Yizo Yizo. Tebi would later go on to take up the role of Lirato in the first two seasons of Gazlam. She further appeared as Pumla in Crossing the Line. For 10 seasons, she served as the presenter of Chika Machika. In 2006, she joined Zone 14, playing the lead role of Nina Muloi for four seasons. At the gigs she went on to hold after that include being the host of Nzanti Magic Game Show, Nguena, a guest presenter at the 6th Annual Crown Gospel Awards, and a guest star on Rhythm City where she played the character of Bongi. Miss Yete went on to welcome son Takalo sometime in mid-2018. The actress owns a makeup range and runs a beauty bar called Azuri. At number 7, we have Terry Peto. Actress Terry rose to the limelight following her role in the 2000 film Tzotzi and her part as Bingi Kumalo in Zone 14. Zone 14 fans were enchanted by the romance between Bingi and Skarnando after she lost the love of her life in Fundisi. Terry can also be remembered for her roles in other movies such as Mandela, Long Walk to Freedom, Catch a Fire and How to Steal 2 Million to name a few. Aside from being an actress, she is also a producer as well as an entrepreneur. Terry has graced the cover of several magazines including L'Oreal, Vanity Fair and Maria Claire. The actress was involved in a relationship with DJ Smoo. The pair were together from 2009 till early 2010. They were said to have broken up as a result of Smoo's bad publicity. Muteri, a native of Everton in Gauteng, spent formative years in the shack in Soweto where she was a member of a local theatre group. Although she has become a prominent figure in Hollywood, it is imperative to note that her career began in SA. In 2011, the actress decided to move to Los Angeles, landing a role as a heart surgeon on the bold and the beautiful. At number 8, we have Kuli Tabete. We've grown to love her as the glamorous wife of taxi boss Judas Nguenya, played by the late Menzi Ngubane on Isibaya. But Tuli's resume extends way before that. She scored her first acting role at the age of 19 on Isitingo as a featured extra. She also played the role of Malaika in Ashes to Ashes and had a strong role playing Pinky Kumba in Zone 14. She became a household name after she took on the role of Humzile on City Sesla and went on to win a softer for that performance. With parents who are both academics, going their acting route was never something Tuli initially aspired to. Tuli took over the role of Bingu Kumba from Teddy Pertua after cast changes in Zone 14, but the storyline remained as dramatic as ever. She studied speech and drama at the National Schools for the Arts in Johannesburg. Tuli dated Metro FM DJ Tipo Touch for four years. The couple became engaged in November 2008, they had their first child in 2009. In 2013, she was the host of Our Perfect Wedding but left the show after one season to concentrate on her studies and was replaced by Brenda Ngoli.